Lerone, thank you so much for talking to me today. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. Good, good. How have the last few weeks been like for you, obviously, getting ready for uh, fighting over in Fight Island? Yeah, uh, so we got matched up maybe three weeks ago now. So um, we just turned up the training, um, getting ready for this fight now. Yeah, and you've obviously been to Abu Dhabi before because that's where you fought last. Um, what did you think about that overall experience? Because that was your UFC debut. Yeah, it was a crazy experience, but uh, back last year we had the fans, so that that, that was like, might I think there was like 14,000 people there, so this time it's not going to be fans, but we're still getting the experience to fly to Abu Dhabi and fight. Yeah, and you were fighting one of Khabib's teammates, Zubera, so there was a lot of eyes on that fight. Um, mm. Obviously you came out with the draw, um, but you're still undefeated, you know, how did you take that result? Obviously, it wasn't the result that you were after, but what do you think about when you look back at that fight? Is there any kind of takeaways from that? Yeah, so for me, a draw is similar to a loss because I only go to win. Um, we only want to win, but a, a draw was a fair result given what, what kind of happened in the fight. It was a close fight. It was a good fight. Um, I think I've grown from that fight now. I've got a good experience against... He was probably, the, obviously, the best fighter I fought, so... That um, caused me to grow. I know, I know what kind of level I'm up against now in the UFC. So we've been training hard. We've been working on um, the things that we needed to work on. So I can't wait to get in there and show it. Yeah, and you were then supposed to fight at UFC London. Obviously, that couldn't go ahead because of COVID-19. Were you disappointed that you weren't able to fight in your home country? Yeah, of course I was. I was looking forward to that fight. I had like a three month training camp for that fight, specifically for the opponent. Um, I felt good. I had no injuries. I was fit. I was sharp. I, I was like the best I've ever felt going going into a fight. And to get it pulled a week before, it was devastating. Um, but everything happens for a reason. Obviously, health comes first and we're ready to go again now. So I'm happy. Yeah. And, and now you're matched up with Ricardo Ramos. What do you think about this matchup for you? It's a tough fight. Obviously, he's a he's a good, very good fighter. He's good at um, everywhere. He's, I think he's five and one in the UFC. It's a it's a just great opportunity for me if I can go in there and beat Ramos, then um, it puts me right out there. And he's obviously you've had a change of opponent from London. So, what kind of adjustments have you had to make? Not much, to be honest. He's a similar fighter to Benitez. Um, good striking and good jujitsu. So, other than he's not he's not a southpaw. But he does switch stance anyway from what I've seen on the tape. Um, nothing much, nothing much. OK, and obviously we're still kind of in the midst of the pandemic. So how, have that, how has that impacted your training camp? And have you got the kind of training camp that you would normally have because, because of that? Not, not, not. Um, I, not as normal because normally we we travel to other gyms and train with other bodies. We go to like I normally use like pure gym, which is like a, a like got the strength con and stuff like that in there. Um, but we've worked around it. We've been able to get been able to get good training, and I feel fit and stuff. So I don't think it's going to affect me that much. Okay. And when do you travel to Abu Dhabi? Do you know much about what happens when you get there as well? So we travel to London on Monday for two days. We've got to, like quarantine in the hotel, get get a t um, COVID test. If we pass this test, um, we fly then to Abu Dhabi on the Wednesday wow. um, evening and we get tested again. I think we get like three tests or something. Are you a little bit nervous about the testing and that whole process? Because obviously that's like another thing that you're going to have to not worry about, but you've got to take into consideration. That's quite a big yeah. part of it, isn't it? Yeah, of course I'm worried about it because I, I know that you can have no symptoms and yeah. still have it. Like, do you get what I'm saying? So I don't want that to be a factor where I get pulled from the fight or even he gets pulled from the fight for the same reasons. I, I just I just hope everything goes smooth. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, like I said, you've been to Abu Dhabi before. It's in Yaz Island again. So do you kind of feel a little bit at ease knowing that you've been there and you've experienced things like the heat and the humidity? You kind of know what to expect a little bit. Yeah, kind of. It don't really make no difference for me. Um, I think we flew out a bit earlier last last time we went there. I wish I'd done that this time, but I don't think we're allowed to. I wish I got out there to um, acclimatise like 10, 
10 days before but I think we're getting there like just like a week before but it will be all right it'll be good and, and what did you think of uh, Dana White putting up the picture of uh, the octagon on the beach I know that's not the one that you're going to be fighting in but does that get you excited to to be part of such a iconic time yeah, it's it's like a one in a lifetime. Like I think after this pandemic, I don't think they're gonna go back there anyway. So I think it's like all fighters that get to fight on this show. It's like it's once in a lifetime. It's gonna be fun. And um, the, the doing the UFC have done a lot to even get these fights on. And um, they built they built loads of new stuff over there. So it's gonna be exciting to see what what they've actually done over there. Definitely, and and you know. Like you said, obviously they've they've pulled out all the stops to be able to make this happen, and and if not, then obviously you guys would be without a paycheck because you can't fight. So how grateful are you to be able to have the opportunity to to fight? Yeah, it's massive. For, obviously, the money, the money matters because that's like the only kind of only kind of income. But for me, I'm just happy to fight. I've not fought in nearly a year now, um, so I've been I've just been dying to get back in there and see see how much we've grown or or anything like that. So. But yeah, it's, it's it's a great opportunity to earn some money as well. Yeah, definitely. And how do you see the fight going down um, against Ricardo Ramos? How do you picture it going down in your head? So in a perfect scenario, I get a finish in the first round. But I know he's a very high level fighter, so I think it's going to be a tough a tough first two rounds, and then going into the third, I hopefully catch him in the third. Where would you say your advantages would be? Where do you think you're going to have the strengths in this fight? Well, I'm a striker, so I always fancy myself in the striking. Um, obviously, I can grapple as well, but I think he's he that's his game. The grappling's his game, so we're, we're going to go try keep it to keep it standing and finish the fight there. Definitely. Is there any weight on your shoulders because of this undefeated record? Do you ever go into that thinking about that and and trying to obviously keep that intact? For me, the record doesn't mean anything. I don't. I don't care about the record. I'd, I'd rather get better, and lose, and get better, and grow, and cr climb the ladder than keep this record and just like not get anywhere. Do you get what I'm saying? So, for me, I'm not really bothered about the record. It's more about performance and what I what I gain from the fight. Obviously, the, obviously, I'm always going into the fight to win. That's that's the main goal, obviously. But it, being undefeated don't really mean anything. Yeah, and, and for anyone that didn't get to see you fight last year, what can they expect to see from you? What kind of performance can they expect? An all-out performance. I always go for the finish. I always, I'm always trying to finish the fight from start to finish. Um, you're going to see a very high-skilled fight. He's very skilled. I'm skilled. So we'll see what happens. It'll be a good fight. I think I think it's got potential for fighting tonight. All right. Well, we really look forward to seeing it. Thank you so much for talking to me yeah. today. OK, thank you. Bye. Thank you.